This is how you show a loading indicator for React server components. Now in server components, we don't have a state or effects. And since the data is coming from the server, by default, we have to wait until all the data that is necessary to render the page is fetched before we can see the actual web page. So for example, on this diary overview page, we render this diary entries list. Both of them are server components. And in the diary entries list component, we fetch some data which can take a moment. With our current setup, the whole page below the navbar is fetched with one single call and then returned when it's ready, which means that we will only see the section here below the navbar after the data of these diary entries is fetched. So it looks like this, we see this loading indicator and then the whole page pops up. But this section here that contains the title and the buttons could actually be rendered immediately because this doesn't depend on any data. Only the part below it depends on data that we actually fetch from the database. To uh, show a loading indicator for this section, we can wrap the server component into a suspense boundary. This allows us to load and render the server component separately from the parent component. While the data is loading, it will show the component that we pass for the fallback value. And after it has finished loading, it will stream in the diary entries list from the server without use effect and without using a client's component. So now when I refresh this page again, we will see the title and the buttons immediately and we will see a loading indicator for the list below. And it looks like this.